This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when using B radius, is it possible to have the effect add rather than subtract? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the dog model here loaded in. And before we get into the answer for this question, let's first talk about B radius. So B radius is a function inside of ZBrush that will work with any of the slice, clip, or trim brushes. So first, let's just select the slice brush here. So I'm gonna hold Control and Shift. I'm gonna navigate up here to the brush palette over here, and I'm just gonna select the slice curve brush. So if I come across my model and I hold Control and Shift with the slice curve brush selected, and then drag out a curve and release, the slice brush is going to come through and it's going to slice the model where I had that curve drawn out, and it's going to apply a new polygroup to the area after it. So this is really handy for coming through and breaking up a model quickly with different polygroups or even adding simple rows of geometry. Now, if you use this again, but this time I'm going to hold Control and Shift and I'm going to press Spacebar. And when you press Spacebar, you're going to get this other little window that's going to pop up. And in here you have a button called B Radius. So I'm just going to activate B Radius here. Now B radius stands for brush radius. So it's going to look at the draw size you have selected up here when it performs this effect. So let's use this slice brush again with B radius active. So if I draw it out like so in that same area and now release, you're going to notice that this time I got two slices. And these slices are based around that brush radius. So if you activate B radius on any of the clip, trim, or slice brushes, it's going to apply the effect twice. So instead of getting one slice, I'm now getting two slices, and the width of that slice is going to be based on my draw size. So if I increase this to a higher draw size here, and now come through and slice the dog model over here, you're going to see I'm going to get a larger slice, and it's based around your brush radius. So that is what the B radius function does inside a ZBrush. So now let's go back and select a clip brush this time instead of a slice brush. So holding Control and Shift again, going over to my brush palette over here, and this time I'm going to select the clip curve brush. And I'm gonna change my draw size down a little bit here. Now with the clip curve brush and B radius active, so holding Control and Shift, and then pressing spacebar to make sure we have B radius selected. If we apply the clip brush, it's going to take your model here and it's going to clip it based around that draw size. So if I increase my draw size here and now reapply that process, you can see it's going to clip the area based on that draw size and give me the smushed dog effect. So the question is asking if there is a way to do this in a positive fashion rather than a subtractive. So to add rather than subtract, you just need to change how the process is being applied. So if we hold down Control and Shift again, you'll see at the top here it's set to Z sub. So let's set this to Z add. And now if we come back and still holding Control and Shift and dragging out that clip brush across my model and now releasing, you're going to notice it's going to add to the model here rather than subtract from it. So holding Control and Shift and then changing from Z sub to Z add. And I can come through and apply that effect there and this is going to extend that clip brush in a positive fashion rather than negative. We go back to subtract, you see it's gonna start shrinking the model back down like so, and then if I go to add, it's going to start moving it out. So that is the functionality of how to get the clip brushes along with B radius to perform in a positive manner rather than a subtractive one. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.